My name is Ben Smith from the Chicago Blackhawks, and I'm originally from Avon, Connecticut. Today I'll be showing you a drill that we used to warm up with at Boston College. The reason why I like this drill is because at the beginning of practice, it helps you get your feet moving, warm up your hands, gets you receiving and giving passes, and also warming up the goalies. The drill starts with, with the player starting here, skating backwards this way. While he's skating backwards, the player in the front of the line will be one touch passing back and forth. What I mean by one touch passing is that a player receives the puck and in one motion receives it and pushes it back towards the player where the puck's coming from. When the players are one touch passing, it's important that they stay low in a strong hockey position with their arms out in front of them and their stick on the ice. A one touch pass helps the players get their hands involved in the drill, allowing them to warm up for the later part of practice. The player will continue skating backwards one touch passing until the hash marks where he'll stop and explode forward. The player skating backwards is really moving back quickly. This stop is with two feet, a good backward stop, and transitions to forward, moving their feet quickly. That's part of the drill, is to get our feet moving for warm up, so that we're warm up for the rest of practice. While this is happening, he skates forward while still one touch passing until this player reaches the blue line. After the player reaches the blue line, he will then pan out. The pass will come from the first player in line all the way across to the first player in line on the other side of the rink. This player must pivot to ensure that the puck is in his vision as it comes across the ice. After pivoting, the player must skate forward with his head up and his stick on the ice at all times. This player will continue up, forwards, around the dot, inside the dot, a nice touch pass right back on his tape, attempting to catch this pass in stride, therefore being able to catch the pass quickly. He will stay wide and take a shot low on the ice. Once the first player in lineup has bumped the puck back, he then begins skating backwards back to the hash mark, one touch passing with the next player in line, stopping at the hash mark, and then exploding forward. All the while, one touch passing until the blue line, when, this, when that second player in line will then pass the puck across the ice to the player on the far side. And this player will repeat the drill, coming back around and getting a pass from here, also taking a shot, staying wide. It's important for the player to take shots from the top of the circle, outside the dots, and also low on the ice in order to warm the goalies up for the rest of practice. That's one of the drills that we used to warm, warm up with at Boston College. Thanks Coach York for contributing to Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey. I'm Ben Smith from the Chicago Blackhawks, and you gotta love Connecticut Hockey.